everyone, we're broadcasting from Slim and Main Stadium, home of the Terra Bay Mutineers. A lot of Mutineer fans enjoying some good tailgate fun out in the parking lot. Yeah, but instead of tailgates, they got planks, and they're making the other team's fans walk off into a shark tank. Like I said, good old fun in the parking lot. Let's play some mutant football. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Motor City Maniacs battle. The Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down Green Street Pole and eating all you can eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing because he's the one who just got wiped out. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. a brick wall. He loves... Oh, man! He just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy! Gotta love it! He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim! And it's first and ten. Turned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Third down and six. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. He just let that one drop and play safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. First and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. And that's how you run the football. First down. First and ten. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and ten. Second 
down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third and four. The warning sounds, only two minutes left in the first half. Third and four. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move here. Hall of Fame. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy! No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole! The asshole up here! Talking to you! Don't like the quarterback says he'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he's off to the races. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little guilt. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. Is the other guy. Yeah, that's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, when the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room straight through the uprights they need a good return here to set up the offense he sits up for the return let's see if he can break one wide open What a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And he breaks away. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? Time to speed things up. 
the offense goes into a two-minute drill. One, two. with the brain scrambler. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Football League Dynasty Edition. In stores now. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Gwen? A carnival? Mm -hmm. ah, and then we're going to a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. I'm a shimmo. crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Second down and long. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't a licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Second down and four. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Oh man, 
God, he really wants it. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. First down, so now they have to punt. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least, and he's, oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll be second down and four. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll bring up third and one. One, two, this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. He quickly threw the ball away and lives to fight another day. Unless the berserk defender comes back tomorrow and gets him. Third down and, well, good luck. One. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And like bricks is balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Fighting for every yard. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a time out to stop the clock. Pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Caught for the first down. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. First and ten. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advantage? And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Okay, 
Nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, man. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just... The Mutineers deliver a bloody good win for the Terror Bay. It was quite a nail-biter today. They came up big with a one-point win to seal the victory. Who wants wings? I do. Make them extra spicy. I like it when they come out hotter than when they go in. Oh, no. Please don't. Your alley lives on my shoulder, and it's going to get messy. I'm buying. Let's listen to the MVP. Maybe he wants some wings, too. <laughs> with Brick Ed Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so... Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. In stores now.